Today is, as Tiff mentioned earlier, National Puzzle Day. During this pandemic, puzzles have blown up in popularity. Your friend sent you one, Tiff, that was passed yeah. around. So from jigsaw puzzles to puzzle apps, people are looking for fun ways to keep the mind sharp. That's right. So we called in our friend. It's David Hoyt to celebrate National Puzzle Day. David is the creator of Molly's Favorite, which is the Daily Jumble, and many, many other games as well. And David also developed the very successful Word Search World Traveler app. We're going to get some cool information about that a very, and a very special Milwaukee version of it in just a minute. But first, we want to talk about the popularity of puzzles because it's National Puzzle Day. Hi, David. Hi. Good morning. Happy National Puzzle Day. Same to you. Is this your favorite day of the year or what? <laughs> I, I love it, and I got to learn all about it. It was uh, created, I have her name here, it was created by Jody Jill about 10 years ago. And with a name, with a cute name like Jody Jill, I feel like she should be able to create anything. Maybe National Baldness Day one day I can have her work on. <laughs> Why not? Maybe there already even is one. David, if yeah. someone would have told me in high school, because um, my mom and I always did the jumble puzzles together, if someone had told me that I would have the opportunity to talk to you on a semi-regular basis, um, I just, it would have blown my mind. I love what you do, and I love what you're doing for kids. We're get to, gonna get to that in just a second. Mm -hmm. But first, what, what's your thought as a puzzle creator about why, especially during this pandemic, when everybody is stuck in place, why are puzzles, do you think, so popular? Yeah, I, you know, there's only so much TV you can watch. And I feel like um, everything has changed. Like my whole job has changed. You know, we used to do updates in the apps with X number of puzzles. Now we're having to do bigger updates because people are like, I'm out of puzzles already. I'm out of puzzles already. And it is a, it's a, it's a great pastime other than just watching TV, uh, I feel like. And then once somebody kind of gets in the habit of doing them, um, it just becomes part of their day. They're at home and it just becomes part of that daily routine. It's so true, and it's so good for your brain. We know that it's something that's yeah. great for us as you age, as when you're younger. All the things that it does for us is so good. Okay, Molly, do you want to share what we want to share? Yes, I do, because, David, this is incredible. <clears throat> You've been doing this Zoom bid Build a Puzzle program, and now we want to share something that's really fun, because for the past few weeks, you have been doing weekly lessons about creating puzzles with a sixth grade class in New York. So in preparation for their latest lesson, you shared with us that the teacher assigned the students a little homework to research the city of Milwaukee. And here's what yeah. some of them learned. Uh, Milwaukee is situated on the shore of Lake Michigan. Milwaukee is the most populous city in Wisconsin. Milwaukee is home to about 600 600,000 people. Yeah, the answering machine was invented in Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Public Museum has the largest known dinosaur skull. Whoa, wait a second. We invented the answering machine? Yeah, it was great. I learned so much about Milwaukee. I, it was incredible. Yeah, this, this Build a Puzzle program is part of what we're doing uh, with the David L. Hoyt Education Foundation, uh, which my wonderful wife, Claire Hosel, is the director of. And uh, we've been doing it now uh, for the last uh, year or so. But, you know, when you said, hey, come on the show for National Puzzle Day, uh, we were going to be doing another one of these uh, programs with uh, sixth graders at Sleepy Hollow. So I thought, what a great opportunity to, to do something uh, special. So, yeah, that puzzle is uh, going to be, it's in the app. It's in the Word Search World Traveler app today, and it's going to be played in 100, 100 countries by more than 11,000 people today. They're all going to know about Milwaukee. I was writing down yep. a couple of the answers that I wasn't quite sure of because these are part of the puzzle, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep, exactly. So it was, you know, what I'm hoping is that maybe we now can reach out to maybe a school in Milwaukee and have them do a, a puzzle about a different city and we can kind of like create a, a chain reaction. I love that idea, David, of not just learning about your own city or your own spot where you live, but about somebody else's city. And to think that students in New York were learning about Milwaukee. And is this true? The one student even said, I want to move to Milwaukee. Yeah, as far as I, 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 I'm pretty sure that one of them was like, it sounds so great there. I want to move there. No, that is They're so right. cute. Yeah, so yep. now the students took what they learned. I'm going to just share this part too about our city. And they worked with you to create a Milwaukee themed word search puzzle. And you yep. told us that that's going to be played by, as you mentioned, tens of thousands yep. of people all around the world today. Uh, yeah, which is so, so great. It's current. 
Yeah, it's current today. So if you download the Word Search World Traveler app today and play the regular daily puzzle, you're going to have this puzzle all about Milwaukee. You're going to learn about Milwaukee. And this isn't a, you know, a stretch for what we do. You know, a Word Search World Traveler is all about traveling around the world and learning about places. And Milwaukee is one of the destinations in the app. But today for National Puzzle Day, this puzzle created by kids in New York, you know, all about Milwaukee is being played in places like Africa and India. And it's you know in more than 100 countries oh wow, that's it's so, so cool. cool you i know you debuted the world traveler app on our show so we feel like yeah. we're a part of that wonderful success and we're so excited for you um i love it i've been playing it all morning i'm almost done so it's pretty <laughs> fantastic and and people i know can get their hands on it so congrats and happy national puzzle day david thank you thank you same to you yeah you're my favorite puzzle guy ever Ah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> David, thank you so much for keeping in touch and for doing this with the school in New York. You're doing so much to keep people happy and their brains engaged. We appreciate it. Well, yeah. it's it's part of you know, Claire. Claire Hossel, the director of the Education Foundation, is making all this possible. So thank her also. We do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Claire. Yes. All right. If you want to do the Milwaukee word search puzzle, we put a link on our website, themorningblend.com, or you can download the word search world traveler app, as David mentioned, on your phone today. How cool is that, Tiff? It's so cool. I absolutely love it. All right.